with the same Tecumseh engine, I just changed the oil seals on, and I put it back on the, the snow blower, and everything was ready to go, and it wouldn't start. So after investigating, I find out that the flywheel key was shaved. So I get a new flywheel key, I put it on there, get it all back together, she fires up once, and then there's a, just a heck of a racket inside. And now we got a more serious problem because you see there's no compression. Well, that time there was, but very bad and not spinning. That's not a good sign. So the tear it apart again, find out what's going on. So here we are with the uh, HM100 Tecumseh engine that I had a problem with earlier. And I found out after all of that, the flywheel key was sheared again. And it was simply because I did not put the proper torque on the flywheel nut. This particular engine required uh, 600 plus of inch pounds, 52 foot pounds of torque on that nut. And I um, unfortunately used my electric impact wrench here and falsely assumed that that would do the trick and then some and that just wasn't the case so um, from now on I'm doing it by hand I'll use that impact wrench to get the nuts off but I'm checking my torque from now on because this was a big hassle getting this thing on and off just over a, a flywheel key so, lesson learned for me. Hope I can help you.